Canada blocks the media portal Australia Today. Founder of Australia Today has a, and the question press uh, Freedom had reiterated its commitment to delivering the critical news and diverse perspective to the public. The Australia Today, in fact, outlet has uh, also taken to the social media to release a statement saying that they will continue their fight of uh, the freedom for press and transparency. To add more details, in fact, I have my colleague Brian Thomas. Brian, very good morning to you. And in fact, uh, this is yet another act of criticism by the Canadian authorities and, of course, the Canadian government, where the press freedom is being now curtailed. And there is, in fact, a lot of criticism that's coming up on why such action has been taken. Add more details if you have. Definitely, you know, we've also had an exclusive conversation with, uh, you know, Australia Today founder and editor-in-chief, um, you know, Jitar Jay Bhattwaj. And even on our channel also, he said the same thing that, yes, freedom of speech is being altered. And he even roasted uh, Justin Trudeau and the Canadian government. And even describing this very Canada's recent blocking of uh, this very uh, prominent diaspora outlet, the Australia Today, as a murder of press, it, 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 even on a channel, uh, you know, he questioned the, uh, you know, it, Justin Trudeau's government's uh, commitment to protecting Hindu community rights. And then he even cited repeated attacks on the places of worship. And this censorship came shortly after, you know, Australia Today um, shared a press conference of uh, External Affairs Minister Jayashankar and his uh, Australian counterpart Penny Wong in Canberra, where Jayashankar has criticized Canada's uh, un unsubstantiated uh, accusations against India and denounce the surveillance of Indian diploma, uh, diplomats as well as Canada's tolerance of anti-India activists. Even MEA uh, also rather criticized Canada's as hypocrisy towards you know peace. And even you know Jutar Jai Bhardwaj also condemned the move, stating that the publication would continue to advocate for open media. And he also you know uh, explained to us also uh, that yes, uh, it has altered them to restriction, and they said that they were unable to access the, uh, the viewers and the readers rather they were not being able to. Uh, you know, access Australia Today's content on social media and he even said that readers and followers notified that they couldn't view or share their content on Facebook or Instagram and despite accessing it minutes later, suddenly the press conference and interview disappeared with a notice that the content was unavailable for viewing in Canada due to Canadian government legislation. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.